this is Danielle from DIYDanielle.com. Today I'm going to talk to you about our DIY duck run. And I made it with mostly supplies that we had on hand as well as a bunch of pressure treated 2x4s. I also had to pick up some poultry staples and some hardware cloth. Okay, here is our wood. I ordered 45 2x4s. They are pressure treated which means they will not rot. Okay, this is our pretty messy chicken coop area. As you can see, we have compost bin in the or compost pile in the corner there, and we have a lot of wire and stuff. We've been relocating fencing, moving it around, just because we're always trying to do things better or smarter. We need our entrance to line up with the beginning of our our area. So this right here is going to be where we start. We're gonna come out about seven feet here. And then we're gonna go this way. I don't know, I think it's 16 feet. And we're gonna come from there to there or so. So we'll probably have to move this or bury it. Um, I wanna use the compost next year. Um, so, and this is our guinea pig area. And it'll actually be nice because we can cover this at the same time. And we'll be able to keep these windows open all the time without worrying about rain or snow if we do that. So. This is what we're working with, and I'm going to go start building. Normally you'd be working with adding some four by fours in the ground to attach your fencing to. However, we already had these big fence posts. They are stable, they are sturdy. So I decided to use them so we could save money instead of buying a bunch of four by fours and also just to save us some transportation because transporting four by fours is pretty difficult for us. So instead we ended up using as many of the ones that were buried as possible and then reusing the ones we pulled up from the other side around the perimeter of our, um, of our run. This was mainly just to save money. So as you can see, I'm burying some of the other posts, um, about, eight feet apart or so. Um, and then making sure to add two by fours that are pressure treated to increase the vertical height. When I went to remove the horizontal boards, the wire fencing that was attached to keep the chickens from getting out, um, it was pretty grown into the ground below. So what I decided to do is instead of pulling it up and using a lot of extra effort, um, I was, I, I folded it over to the exterior of the duck run so that I could use it as a barrier for animals so they couldn't um, try to dig underneath. I would have need to lay this anyways. I might have used um, a hardware cloth instead, but I would have had to lay it anyways. This is a little bit of a rusted fencing, so it's not super nice looking. So it worked really well in this regard and they won't be able to dig it up. It's really stuck in there. Hey friends. Okay, so here's what we have. We are laying this wire down and we are attaching our two by fours. Once I attach the two by fours before I wrap with wire, I'm gonna make sure this is way close up next to our two by fours and I'm gonna weigh it down with rocks. So as you can see, I already added these eight foot two by fours. Many of our posts had old nails and screws and such that we had to remove or um, nail in. Um, here I am, I'm just installing all of my two by fours and some of the posts did require two two by fours um, just because of um, the whip I had it at. I got this off Amazon. It was the cheapest I could find hardware cloth. It's 100 feet, 48 inches. So the idea is raccoons, foxes, whatever can pull, sometimes fit their hands through the larger wire, such as the stuff that I have on the ground, and pull your animal through if they're too close to the sides. So these hardware cloth has a fourth of an inch. Some people use one inch and some people use a half inch. I feel like most people say you want at least a half inch or a fourth of an inch because they definitely can't fit anything through here. So this stuff is expensive though. Let me tell you, this was the cheapest deal. So <coughs> the idea is, is that 
you don't need that on the top part of your coop. So you could probably get away with something like this. And this is the same thing I'm trying to do for the bottom is to bury this wire because they'll still hit it if they dig and not be able to go anywhere. But they won't be able to pull the ducks through um, this stuff. For, so this stuff will be in the top, bottom four feet all the way around. And then above it, I will add extra of this because I have quite a bit of that wire. Um, and we'll also add a piece of wood in the middle to hold it on to. So you need special chicken poultry staples. They look like this um, to attach these. They're going to be a pain in the butt probably. You have to hammer them in. But I'm going to get start getting this unrolled. And I'm going to try to make it all the way around with this um, rather than cutting up pieces because that will make my life a little bit easier, hopefully. Um, the only issue is we are a little bit higher here, so we'll see. Spoilers, it was not actually easier. However, we made it work. Here we are. We are trying to roll it downhill. I'm adding poultry staples at the beginning and my husband's trying to stretch it out for me as I'm tacking them in in place and we are making sure to overlap the bottom wire with the uh, middle wire um, and then placing the two by four over it. So on the outside I added the poultry staples, some of them poorly but most of them correctly, um, along the outside and then I'm also adding them on the bottom to help hold this a little bit more taut with the um, 2x4 that goes along the bottom on the outside. Um, ideally you want someone on the other side holding that tight while you're hammering it in so you don't hammer your board back out. On for this piece and it holds this wire together so there won't be a gap. So I'm going to screw this in and then do this one. Okay, I didn't get a video of this being built. My husband built it really quick while I was putting in post holes. So as you can see, we got a couple miter saw cuts here for each end. One board straight across for additional support at the bottom. It's four feet wide. I think it's six feet approximately tall. And we'll go all, to it, all the way to the top. He initially made like an eight foot one. And I was like, that's too big. So we took it off and put it back on. So I'm going to actually use the poultry staples to attach the welded or the hardware cloth. Cut off the, edge, the amount I need. And that's all for that piece. Okay, so I've got all the wire attached. And I made sure to put more staples on the bottom along this middle area than maybe I did at the top. Still added a lot of staples everywhere, but um, a lot of pressure is going to be coming here if something's trying to dig in or get through. And also my kids might kick it, that sort of thing, or the animals might get up against it. Okay, so as you can see, we ran our top piece of wire that's got wider openings and now we're placing our horizontal pieces across here here and here um, and then on the other side I'm gonna go on the inside and use the chicken staples or poultry staples to attach this to the two by four the horizontal two by four okay so I worked my way from one end over here as you can see I've got my chicken or poultry staples in. However, you're going to, you're possibly going to have some areas, unless you're much better at stretching it out than I am, where you have some overlap. And I'm just going to nail this down like this. It's not perfect, but um, as long as it keeps the animals out, it's really what matters. Okay, so this is the mostly finished um, duck run. Um, we added this piece over here to kind of stabilize the doorway. Um, out of the door we've got three hinges on it we've got one class or hook or whatever it doesn't close perfectly but it does the trick um we've got one piece over here eventually we need to probably add an additional piece over here we did it on these two sides and we'll need to add them on the back as well i ran out of um two by fours and we got to add them on the other side as well but as you can see this is going to do the trick we can add some 
mesh over the top at some point if we have issues with hawks. This moment, we do not have issues with hawks. We have hawks, but they haven't been bothering them. So um, we may wait and see. They have plenty of places to hide. They can go in the coop all day or night. We've been leaving them out at night now, seeing hopefully that predators can't get in. Um, and they can go in if they wanna get away from the, um, the heat or the cold or whatever. And um, the cord is for the electric um, bucket and we do need that right now because it's freezing some nights and some days. Um, and then underneath they can always go under and I think they're pretty safe here. Um, been doing some cosmetic updates to the exterior. Eventually I wanna paint it. And I probably want to replace that at some point. That was working before, but there we are. Thanks so much for watching. I've got more pictures of this on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. And I've got pictures of another duck run that I did at my old house. Make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for other homesteading and DIY posts. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.